All right, so today we're going to have a look at different ways to create balds in Blender. Let's start with the obvious one, which is the UV sphere, which is literally a ball. And um, you have your segments here. So um, basically how often it's um, cut um, up and down. So you can change that to whatever you need. Default is 32. And then you have your rings, which is up and down um, how often it's cut. Default is 16. What you'll notice though is that the density of faces is not consistent. You also start to get stretching towards the top. As you can see here, these faces are quite long compared to the square faces on this side. Although, for example, if you want to make a pill shape, I guess, um, this could be useful where you just like extrude it up and then you already have your shape. Something similar to the UV sphere is the icosphere, and that's just below it. And um, as you can see, it, it's made out of tries only instead of mostly squares. However, um, what you can see is that as you change the subdivisions, the spacing between them stays consistent. So everywhere on the icosphere, you have the same density of geometry. One thing you should probably know is if you change it here, it's always going to um, stay as tries. But let's say I apply this and then add a subsurf. It's actually going to give you these really weird shapes here. Make sure you use the correct resolution. Um, and maybe try to stay away from the subsurf. What these are really useful for is if you add one with um, very low subdivisions, so even one, you can use this in particle systems, for example, as from a distance, they look enough like a sphere to be fine in a particle system, but they barely use any geometry. Like this is only 12 verts. Let's say you add a UV sphere and that has eight and four, which is probably a similar resolution. This alone is going to have 26 vertices. And in my opinion, the roundness doesn't stay as consistent. The last and possibly the best um, way to add a sphere into your Blender scene is using a cube, which is kind of counterintuitive. But if you add a subsurf modifier on a cube and then another modifier, which is the cast modifier, and the reason we add the cast modifier is because, um, as you can see, just with subsurf, it's actually still slightly boxed. So once you add that, make sure it's set to sphere and then set this factor to one. And as you can see, if I toggle that, you can see that now it's a perfect sphere. And the great thing about this compared to the icosphere is your topology is way more consistent. So here in the top, you have quads on the sides, you always have quads and the distribution is very uniform. You do, however, have these points in the corners. However, compared to your UV sphere, this is still way cleaner geometry and these are still quads. So in general, I actually prefer to use this um, spherical cube just because of the nearly perfect topology, but it really does depend on your use case. Although I wouldn't worry too much about it as always try multiple things and see what works the best. I hope this was helpful. See ya.